Hi, here at Inhabit we work with design teams to make life that a little bit easier. With the view that there's always room for improvement, here is a very, very quick overview of our new tool, ETTV Facade Designer. Our ETTV Facade Designer provides the user with an opportunity to assess the performance of a building and its design and demonstrate the envelope thermal transfer value for compliance against BCA version 4.1 and BCA Greenmark 2015 currently within a beta version. It aims to drive performance-based decisions from the offset, adding greater value to the facade design discussion along the way throughout the project's duration. In a nutshell, enables a user to optimize the facade window to wall ratios with realistic specifications for U values and solar heat gain coefficients, adding features along the way such as frit patterns, and shading in order to generate an ETTV result. For, for those familiar with the ETTV spreadsheets and the challenge of integrating these into your design, the ETTV facade designer is a more interactive and intuitive tool that we believe leads to better results. It has simplified and detailed modes to toggle between, with the simplified mode suitable for early concept schematic designs. It provides results for Greenmark version 4.1 and the beta version uh, in 2015. And this is supported by a clear summary of your ETTV performance per orientation to assess your compliance strategy. As for spe specifications, in the simplified mode displayed here, you can lock down each orientation with a similar facade design strategy or manipulate orientations independently for a cost effect cost-effective design solution. Yep, it really is as simple as that. Now it's free on the Inhabit website in a beta release until the end of May. Um, unfortunately we can't provide direct support within this initiative but we would appreciate any feedback you can provide to resolve those inevitable bugs and improve the tool. For more complex designs feel free to contact um, your local uh, Singaporean Inhabit office for further information. Thanks, I hope that's helpful. Bye-bye.